happened back there with that thing? <sighs> no idea. It was a real shitstorm. What do you think? Seemed like it wanted to haul my ass off into the woods. Can't even think about what might have happened to me. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. And how did that work out? It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on, let's take a look. Sure, I've been here before. Hey, up here. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. 
The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! Okay, so now what? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. No way. Come and take a look at this. You won't believe this. But we're in this photo. All of us. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on.
So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. Okay, so what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead? That's what I said to Taylor. We're fucking dead. Can you help me out here? Doing what? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah!
Fuck! Hurry! Daniel! Take cover! Shoot the fucker again! What the fuck is your problem? Come on! Let's go before anything else happens. thing. Professor? Professor? Daniel? You made it. This time, yeah. 
Not sure how much longer my luck can hold, though. Oh, my God. Thought I'd lost you. <laughs> this isn't over. The thing back there is still after me. Any of you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Something moving over there. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? <laughs> No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm down as infects you in madness. Roy, you but six servants. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. John, get away from it! I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready!
Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burnt down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. that? Yep. Gotta be that kid upstairs. We have to go find her. <laughs> She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. again. I am filled with dread at the purpose. 
I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. God help us. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tiff, child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing! Don't buy her bullshit. She's evil. She may be just a kid, but what she's done is beyond evil. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town, or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but... Now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Mary and Mary alone. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that Little Hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. You got this all twisted. Mary isn't to blame. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damn doll. Destroy that and... The puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe this all goes away. It is the cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Destroy this puppet, and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, an innocent child. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. You must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. You did everything you could. Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. That's it, right? I figured that if the doll... And then that would be the end of it. You made the right call. No way you could have seen what was gonna happen. That accident is not on you. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. What's up? You okay? I think we've seen the last of that kid.
Hey! I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. We've all had one hell of a rough night. More than anyone. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell. That, right? Finally getting out of this hell. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in.